It's Dark Lord J Dog, Insane Payback Crips, Gardena Payback Crips. Darth Bane. Uh, just want to show you guys Dessel from the world of Apoc that it's possible to uh, beat the last tier and get all the everything except calculated risk with Jedi and not having Jedi Knight Luke or General Anakin Skywalker, just doing this with a Revan team. So if as long as you're uh, Old Republic and um, your Jedi are uh, pretty strong, then you should be able to do this for sure. So Gear 13, Relic 7, you know what? Let's go to Old Republic. Or Jedi. Okay, so we got Gear 13, Relic Level 7, 3 Zeta, Jedi Knight Revan. Gear 13, Relic Level 7, 1 Zeta, Bastila Sean. Gear 13, Relic Level 5, 2 Zetas, Grandmaster Yoda. Gear 13, Relic Level 5, 1 Zeta, Jolie Bindo. Gear 13, Relic Level 5, 1 Zeta, Juhani. Yeah, it doesn't look like a team that would totally be own but they do this is the last tier I'm going to get every freaking uh, well you'll, you'll see all you got to do is kill General Grievous Don't use Revan's Blast first. to do okay there we go Grievous is out so now I'm gonna focus on Grievous Revan can aim on anybody remember If anything happens to him, oh, they took my, they did my revenue. Okay, I get it. Okay, don't worry, I've done this before. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. And then I'll show you some arena match or something like that. But. Get this motherfucker first. Of the Jedi Temple in 19 BY, when Chancellor Palpatine had been ousted as the Sith Lord Darth Sidious. Though unable to stop the Temple's destruction when Order 66 came into effect, Shock T managed to hold off the Emperor's newly appointed Sith apprentice, Darth Vader, long enough for several Jedi to escape the carnage before she herself went into hiding on Felucia. Surviving much of the Imperial period, T was eventually located by Darth Vader, who sent his assassin, Galen Merrick, to kill her. After a fierce duel over the maw of the Ancient Abyss, a Mega Sarlacc used as a sacrificial altar by the native Belushians, Shock T was defeated. She was survived by her latest apprentice, Maris Bruce fell to the dark side in the wake of her death and wreaked havoc across Felucia before also I think this one should by get Eric. it. I'll be surprised if I don't get it this time. Oh shit. Look at that. God damn it. What is going on here? Crafted Darth Bane into a formidable warrior. A human male 
Don't make me look like a fucking idiot now. Jesus. Okay, that sucks. A couple of my people got eliminated. Or maybe I won't even get it this time. Okay, so like I said, Jedi's can do it. Might have lost two people, but it's about winning it. So as you can see, I've got max reward. Do a battle. Oh, this is going to be hard. This guy's got Relic 8. But he's not using First Order. And that's a cardinal sin. It might help you against the Jedi Master Luke teams. Or these Jedi stacked GL Ray teams. Which brings me to think. Since I don't have gas and I don't have Jedi Knight Luke. When I unlock Je uh, Galactic Legends Ray. Because I'm pretty close. Um, I literally only have 16 full pieces to put together. To craft. And then I'll have G GL, I'll be able to start GL Ray. I've got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. But unlike them, I'm going with all First Order because using anything. But if I was, if, 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 if uh, Sith or Darksiders worked as good under Supreme Leader Kylo Ren as they do under Ray Skywalker, I'd be using this. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren unmasked, or Sith Trooper, all at Relic 7, with Darth Malak, Darth Revan, Vassal Sean Fallen. That's, see this should work, right? But it doesn't. What works best is 6 Zeta, Gear 13, Relic 7, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Gear 13, Relic 7, 2 Zeta, Kylo Ren Unmasked. Gear 13, Relic 7, 1 Zeta, General Hux. Gear 13, Relic 7, 1 Zeta, Sith Trooper. 
Goose 15, Relic 7, Sith Force Order Officer. This is all about their... Oh, my opponent's rank is no longer valid. That sucks, because he was the easy one to beat. But, just like I said, um, using this shit without using... Um, all first order is basically a death sentence. So you'd think that this guy's Malik would overplay my uh, first order officer. Because look, that's all the only thing that's the diff difference. So I'll show you how much first officer helps. And he only gets like one move off. Oh wow, and he's faster than me. See that? Darth Malik just made my Supreme Leader, I mean my uh, Kylo Ren Unmasked stronger. Look, I remember he got first hit. Easy peasy. The other guy would have been better because he's Relic 8, but by the fact you saw him get kicked out of the arena that quickly. Everybody using Malik. 